What is going on my fellow fellas? It is your boy Illumity here and today I am going to be doing the one box challenge to get 1000 kills. Quite a difficult challenge. So pretty much what that means is I can only spin the box once and I cannot pack a punch the 1911 nor buy wall weapons and I have to try and get a thousand kills. So yeah, very difficult challenge. I'll try and find a uh, picture of the guy who suggested it. I decided to do this video on town because it's like a fairly decently difficult map. Number two, it's like super iconic. Everybody knows town. And number three is because this is like the map where my first big video came out from. And if you didn't notice from the, uh, the 1000 theme, this is the uh, 1000 subscriber special. And I'm not gonna lie, this is my second recording of this. My first time I got the Barret, and I was gonna continue on with it, but I ended up dying, like, super early. So I just immediately, like, subconsciously stopped the recording and exited the game. So, yeah. Anyways, um, leave your Q&A questions down below for me, because I still want to do that. But I have to compile enough questions before I can. Join the Discord so you can hang out with me or other people who like zombies. And I'm gonna try and stream some more. I just don't know what to stream, so leave your stream suggestions down below for me. I'm just trying to get some points right now. I guess we'll go spin the box since we have the exact number of points. Time to unveil what we're gonna be using for the next several rounds. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? First, the Barret, now the RPG. Okay, well, I'll explain a little bit more about the rules. Um, the rule is we can only use, aside from like the starting pistol, we can only use the gun that we got from the box. And if we happen to run out of ammo, we can spin the box once. And until we get ammo back for our RPG, we will be using the box gun that we got. And I also turn on Hellhounds just in case I got a gun that has low ammo, like the RPG. Oh well, I mean, at least this one's like pretty strong. The Barret is good, but I can hit really good area damage with the RPG. It's just like kind of dangerous because we might accidentally blow ourselves up and that would not be very nice but yeah we have a long way to go we're a whole 14 kills in man i can't just like get a good weapon or at least a decent weapon i guess this is decent it's just dangerous but i can't just get a good weapon on an extremely hard challenge i might have to get speed cola for this rpg though because the reload is not that good although we need to think about it when it's going to be pack a punch it's not really going to matter that much since it has eight rounds before you have to reload so i guess this is a decent upgrade from the uh from the barrett but you know it's not really hard to do that this is going to be a long video though potentially i mean if i do good then it'll be a long video not trying to predict my own fate here that's a hard maybe i guess i could grab galvanuckles too too. there's no rule against that and it's technically not a gun yeah galvan knuckles would be super useful because that's just free kills until like round 14 plus like a bunch of extra points i think i might just grind towards galvan knuckles before i get jug or anything go pretty dangerous here i'm gonna be popping the uh the scoreboard every now and then so that you guys can just see how many kills that i'm at also i don't really know where to train on uh on town here because i'm not that good at training anywhere on town this is typically where i gravitate to though something else dangerous about the rpg is when you when you shoot it there's a big old explosion you can't see what zombies died and which ones didn't luckily for us it's still one tapping but it's only like round four so if it weren't one tapping then i'd be pissed i need to try and conserve ammo though oh shit i completely forgot about the dog round i might have to grab jug first before the uh yeah i think i'm just gonna go grab jug first before i get the um galvan knuckles because i do not trust myself to live on a dog round where the where the dogs are just chasing you super fast and so you're probably gonna one blow yourself up and two fucking like not reload in time to kill the next dog Ooh, i think i'm gonna grab that just for the extra points that's nice Ooh, a max ammo we can kind of ball with our rpg here all right i'm gonna pick that up unfortunately we couldn't use it more oh we have enough for jug okay that's sweet i'm gonna try and use my grenades on these earlier rounds as well so that i can just save ammo okay i'm gonna pick up that nuke for the extra 400 and it's more than likely gonna be a dog round here so good thing we got jug oh yep okay i called it double tap is also gonna be really good for us as we get essentially double the damage on a super high what's it called area damage weapon also i don't appreciate how every single dog is spawning up here with me like what the fuck oh my gosh are you kidding me I don't, I don't one tap dogs with the RPG. Boom. Okay. Dog round over. Wasn't too bad. Now we save up for Galva Knuckles. I think training over here works really well. We just need to make sure we clear the gap in between that train right there and like that truck over there and keep on rebuilding this barrier because 
The surprise zombies over here are not very good. Dude, I can't get an opportunity to shoot these zombies. We might have to go train in a different area. This is just getting way too risky. And it's only round seven, which is crazy. This is like my favorite area to train on this map, though. I mean, granted, there's only like two areas to train. I don't know if I want to train over here, though, because this is like the area that I always die in. But I do think it's a better training area. Just the lava, it's so, it's so fucking bad over there. I think I'll just stay over here for the time being. I need to, what's it called, get stamina up here soon. There's so many things I need to buy, though. Oh my gosh. Oh, no way. No fucking way, dude. That's crazy. Oh, we're a tenth of the way there. Okay, well, we might as well kill some more zombies. That is absolutely wild what just happened to me. I'm probably cooked here. All right, come on. Gotta thread this needle. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, let's go. That's so crazy, though. I got hit twice, and then I, I blew myself up from a distance, and that's enough to kill me. Something about that just doesn't feel right. All right, well, I guess we're gonna have to abandon the idea of the uh, Galva Knuckles. Not only are we... Uh, not gonna have enough points to get it in a while but also we're kind of at the point where it's not even really worth it to get them anymore plus i didn't think we'd be at 100 kills already which is pretty cool all right now i have a tough decision to make double tap or stamina up well i'm still i'm still one tapping most of the zombies stamina up would make training easier yeah i'll just get stamina up and then rather than saving up for double tap i think i might just try and pack a punch 124 kills we're about a tenth of the way there a little bit more one down already though that's not that good i just i feel like that down was kind of bullshit though i hit myself from like imagine I, I was like standing here i hit myself from like that far away i think oh shit they're already zombies spawned in i was just throwing grenades in that window oh my gosh stamina up makes this so much easier it was definitely a better decision to get stamina up we might have to go get a box gun though here in a second never mind what the hell speak of the devil okay insta kill that's big if i can just get over to it then it'd be huge damn that was a fast round 150 kills we're halfway there to pack a punch three perks one down not bad training here or training in town is so it's horrible with the rpg I cannot talk right now can't run what the fuck i just got triple swiped but no red screen that's lucky training in town with the rpg is oh my gosh such a challenge because there's three things you need to worry about one zombies hitting you because of the shitty mobility two the fire and three the fucking uh the like extra damage that you take from shooting yourself so just imagine you you get caught on fire for like half of your health shoot yourself with the rpg you're just dead i'm gonna try and avoid nukes because i don't know if they count towards our kills i'll test it when i have a nuke and a low amount of zombies left and around but i can't be i can't afford to just be wasting kills like that every single kill counts pretty much and we are at the point where we can pack a punch now otherwise known as the point where i'm even more highly likely to kill myself so yeah i don't know if i don't know if many of you have seen the pack a punched rpg but this shit is deadly to so not only you but the zombies okay we got a dog around here i'm just gonna go sit upstairs pretty much the only purchase that we need to worry about now is getting double tap and then i'll grab galva knuckles once i have enough money they'll probably not be useful at that point though all right dog round over and we are almost nearing 200 holy shit oh that was really bad that was really dangerous all right we'll show off the full auto capability here only two rounds shot but you get the idea okay okay that was really bad that was really bad we can afford to get like three hits we just after getting hit thrice we just cannot shoot the rocket launcher otherwise that's pretty much a guaranteed death but we got a fresh max ammo here so that's nice gonna try and use some of my ammo before i pick it up all right let's grab it before it disappears though oh yeah i forgot to mention mention this earlier but i'm also kind of like sacrificing my my gameplay for the sake of the video i turned up my bit rate even higher because people were suggesting that i should do that so i'm lagging even more than i normally do just so that the video will look nicer oh shit we can grab double tap okay we're gonna have to oh my dude immediate death wow okay i guess we're not fucking grabbing double tap anymore oh we're one fourth away there that was crazy dude immediate death i didn't even have a chance and we're already on our final quick revive want to know how this challenge is going it's going really bad we might have to change up the strategy a bit we could just lead our train into this room because it separates the zombies into really nice little groups i don't know we're gonna have to change our strategy though that's all i know
We can't keep sitting in this corner. Okay, I'm gonna grab double tap as soon as I can. Hopefully that time will be now. Yep, okay, I'm gonna try and save that insta-kill. All right, let's grab this double, or not double tap, insta-kill. Pop a grenade on that door. Wow, that did almost nothing. Wait, what am I doing trying to hoard up zombies? This is a challenge about getting kills. I just need to kill them as fast as I can. Oh shit, okay. 281, pick up the nuke. Does it count as kills for us? Probably shouldn't have tested it with that many zombies alive. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Ah, shit, that kind of sucks. I think we could afford to just keep on running our train through this building. We haven't been doing too horrible on ammo, though. That's all I'll say, is the ammo situation has not been too bad. Not too pleased with how we're not, like, one-tapping, considering that we have a pack-a-punched RPG with double-tap. Wow, my game just froze. Okay, that could have been horrible. Okay, new fresh max ammo over there. Gonna spam as much as I can. I mean, it's a dog round next round anyway, though. Damn, kind of sucks that we can't use that insta-kill for something more useful. I won't complain about a free dog round. Oh, it's not a- oh, okay, never mind. Spoke too soon. 3.33, we are a third the way there. This is going faster than I thought it would be. Oh, I can grab Galvies here. I don't know if that's a good idea, though, because if I go down again, I'm gonna have to grab all my perks. So that's 6,500. Fuck it. We ball. Okay, that, now in hindsight, from like five seconds after I bought the Galvin Knuckles, that was a horrible idea. I mean, we have we have a perfectly good 1911 that can do infinite damage for us on, uh, on an insta-kill. We don't need a melee weapon for it. I'm also now realizing that I probably should have tried this challenge on a map that has a shield. Who needs it? Who needs it? Not me. Oof. Okay, that was very bad. Spam a bit here. This challenge would be marginally easier if you didn't have to ADS every time you wanted to shoot the fucking gun. Holy sh fucking- Oh my gosh. This really isn't good. Okay, we'll just grab this. Oh, no. Run will not be over here. Okay, it probably will, if I'm being honest, but... Like, oh my gosh, like I was trying to say, this challenge would be marginally easier if I didn't have to ADS every single damn time I wanted to shoot my gun. Also, I don't know why I'm coming up here because there's no more quick revive. Wow, that was, that was a fucking roller coaster that just happened. We haven't even broke 400 yet and we've used all three of our quick revives. Oh well, I mean, I knew the second that I picked up the RPG that this challenge was going to be very fucking difficult. I need to garner as many points as I can to to receive the rest of my perk. All right, we'll grab this nuke before it runs out. I'll go with stamina up. I don't really need double tap. Well, I do need double tap, but it sucks though because we also can't really open up the speed cola door. That'd be fucking up our entire train. Oh well, I need to figure something out and quickly. Of course, there had to be one zombie that strayed away from the rest of the fucking spawns. Okay, we got an insta kill. Gonna throw a couple nades here. Use our pistol, which is already out of ammo. I didn't even realize that it was that low. Now we can use the uh, Galva Knuckles for their intended purpose. The whole reason I bought them, so that I can melee zombies without them blowing up in my face. 4.43, um, 4.5, wait, no, 4.5 out of 10. I don't know, four and a half tenths the way there. Man, you know what would be absolutely sick if like, if Treyarch could just, like, be summoned into this game, spawn in PhD, and then, like, leave. Why can't we just have PhD on every map? Make this, like, a Black Ops 1 mule kick situation where PH or where mule kick just got added to every map. Also, this feels like a lot more than 24 zombies spawned in right now. Oh my gosh, dude, what am I doing? I keep saying I need to come up with a new strategy, and then proceed to just, like, run the riskiest train of my fucking life in that corner. Oh, okay, that's a max ammo. That's huge. We can just spam now. Oh, this is a good strategy. I'm liking this, actually. I'm up here, rebuild the barrier. Where's the max ammo? Please don't have disappeared. Oh, it's definitely gonna disappear now. Fuck, no, I need that. Please, Treyarch, I need this. Fuck, it's gone. Okay, just give me- No, 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 no! <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and spin the box here. We are not completely out of ammo yet, but we're going to be out of ammo by the end of this round, so... RPD for the dog round, not bad. Okay, you guys die fully. Nope. Fucking crawlers don't die. Bro, th this guy has tanked three shots. Three shots. Okay, well, this is why we bought the RPD, I guess. Oh, you don't know how nice it is to just hear the sound of a gun that shoots bullets rather than fucking rockets. By the way, if I have to get a new gun... Or if I keep on running out of ammo, I'm gonna spin a new gun every single time. I'm not gonna keep on using the RPD. Because while that would make it, it's not like unfair to not spin a new gun. The RPD is a great gun, and 
I want to add some variation and randomness into the challenge. I don't know why I'm reloading that. Whatever, I'll just reload it for the future. Man, it sucks. We're, we're down eight bullets already, and we haven't even fired a single shot. Oh, yeah, I uh, forgot to say uh, we've... Ah, for hast, I don't know. We've passed 500, so that's a milestone at least. So, let's talk about the ammo situation, huh? Um, 14 rounds down, and oh, fuck. And we are not even a whole round that after the dog round yet. I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully it does. Okay, I think I'm gonna try and go through here with my Galva Knuckles. 565 kills around 22. It would honestly be so crazy if we could succeed the challenge at the point that we are in the video now. Holy shit, that was not good. Oh, this could be it. This could- Oh, never mind. Can't speak in such negative ways. I will say, though, this is definitely the end of my fucking RPG ammo. Something else I'll say is this is definitely reshaping up my, uh, my training skill, making me a lot better at training. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a new gun because we are definitely going to run out of ammo next round, and new gun because... Yeah, okay, well, I, I'm not even gonna pick those up so that I don't have the temptation to use them, but that does not count. Damn, EMPs would be nice as fuck. Holy shit, I just thought about that. Okay, DSR, we could work with that. It's just the better version. Oh, wait, I can't use it yet. It's just the better version of the, uh, Barret. Damn, can you die? Thank you. I suppose we also can pack-a-punch the DSR if we need to, which I'm gonna just go ahead and say that we need to. But yeah, only until we can only use it when I run out of ammo in this gun until I have ammo back. Uh oh, this ain't good. This is really not good. You guys ever just feel like stamina up is utterly fucking useless? I think it stems from having stamina up for such a long time because when you first buy it, it feels like you have the speed of like Hermes or something. And then it's just like normal now. Also, it's DSR time. I'm so glad that I came up with this rule. You guys might think it's unfair, but I don't see any other way that we would have been able to progress. I think it's pretty fair, though, because also... Oh, wow, that's not good. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh, we had to buy the speed cola door, but at least the run continued. Holy shit. Oof. Okay, that's a big hit. And that's a max ammo over there as well. Yeah, okay, well, we're definitely gonna have to change the strategy now. Or wait, maybe incorporate this into the strategy. Okay, I'm liking it. All right, round 24, and we have 700 kills. Okay, we are... We've surpassed two-thirds of the way. We're seven-tenths there. Do I dare to stay in the corner still? It's not that I, like, want to try and stay in the corner it's just that i don't know what to do if i get out of this corner i don't know where to fucking go oh my gosh dude that speed cola door was really just the the little fucking it was that one screw holding the entire thing together man that was a clutch though i can't even lie me being at the exact place where the door was oh wow that's not good okay i guess we could try going over here for a bit There's something about this just doesn't feel right though i can't make a good loop and then the lava in the middle is horrible Ooh, insta kill I like that. Okay. Can't use my DSR here, even though I kind of want to. Oh, max ammo. Okay. Everything die as fast as possible, preferably. All right. We'll be safe and grab it like now. Damn it. My grenade burned out. That sucks. I tried throwing it not into the lava and then it went into the lava. Maybe it isn't so bad training over here. Please do not turn into a YouTube short. Oh, I'm definitely going to die because I just said that. Fuck. I've cursed myself. Oh, wait, we can grab speed cola now. Yeah, I forgot about that. I think this next round isn't a dog round, which would be great so that we can save our max ammos. Oh, 775. So we are... Fuck, damn it, it was. Damn it. No. We're over three-fourths of the way there. Come on, we're in the final stretch. I know we can do this. Just gotta think of where I came from. Three, four hundred, and I had used all of my quicker vibes. I just gotta lock in for this last quarter. Oh, I almost just grabbed that without reloading. That would have sucked. Okay. We are are 783 wow okay we're so close come on come on just lock the fuck in we did this shit with an rpg oh okay that was almost horrible almost just drifted straight into like the main mass of zombies Ooh, that's big oh my gosh we almost just died we just risked it all for that fucking insta kill but you know what in the end it was worth it when i tell you that my heart is gonna drop into like my fucking stomach if i lose this I'm being so serious. Oh, no, 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 no. So, oh, wow. We just got stuck on the stairs, but somehow lived. Oh, no, 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 no. How am I still alive right now? Legitimately. This might be like the most fucking on edge I've ever been in a video. There's so much at stake right now. 
I don't even want to look at the scoreboard. Okay, I gotta save ammo. I gotta remember my my core principles of saving ammo. Okay, round 27. How many more do we need? Oh, I thought we were gonna be at 900 already. That's not good. Okay, we only need 134 more. Though, judging off how that round went, this one's gonna be even fucking harder. Well, obviously, but yeah. Oh, I probably should have grabbed the gun, because I may potentially run out of ammo this time around. Oh, I'm red screen. That's no bueno. And we got into the worst part of the map for training. Sick. Okay. Back to do a corner. Let's just fucking get out. Okay, just get out of my way. Wow, 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 wow. No, 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 no. Oh, am I alive? How am I alive? My Conqueror's Hockey is awakening, dude. Oh my gosh. My will to live. It's too strong. I just had, like, two of the closest calls in my entire YouTube career. I don't know where to go. There's too many crawlers mixed in with all the runners. This is a good position, though, because it means, like, half of the zombies are crawling, which means only half of them can be running, which means that no more zombies can spawn in. I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah. I don't think... Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever gone back there in a train before. Okay, we are definitely not going to be able to finish this round without a new gun. Unless that was a max ammo or an insta-kill over there. Double points. Sick. All right. Uh, I got to grab a new weapon real quick. Oh, of course, there has to be a zombie up here. Just give me literally anything that isn't horrible. That works. I love the 5.7. I'm not even going to be able to pack a punch right now. There's just way too many zombies. It's time to butterfly click. Back to my other core principle. Saving ammo and butterfly clicking. Yeah, you see you see this 11 CPS butterfly click. Dude, I'm already almost out of ammo on the 5.7. Okay, we're gonna have to find a moment to pack a punch this. Ah, uh, that moment is not right now. Ooh, okay. We have an opening. We'll circle back around fully. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna grab it through my... Okay, well, we lost the 5.7. Ugh, not to worry, though. We can just grab another gun. You know how much easier this would be if I just, like, said that I could pick up like the M14 or the Olympia. Oh my gosh, dude, fuck. This is really bad. We're gonna have to go into a corner. Hold on, should I check how many kills I'm at? I'm scared, low key. 934, okay. This is a whole 24 zombies right here anyway. So if we add that together, 938, 958. We only have, we don't have to kill 42 more zombies, dude. Oh, I can definitely grab the gun and leave. Val. Ooh, that was really, that was really almost bad for us. Okay. Get in there. Okay, that was horrible. We might be losing another gun here. Nope, nope, no, 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 nope, 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 nope. Yeah, I'm, I'm him. Let's go. All right, foul time, bitch. No, oh, that was supposed to be like really badass, but this gun sucks. Oh, well, it gets the job done. It's better than not having a secondary weapon. <laughs> Strangely enough, this has been the calmest it's been the entire video. Ah, oh, damn it. We have to survive until we get a max ammo with the foul. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I really wish that I had, um, I really wish I had RPG ammo right now. Oh my gosh, dude. The foul is so weak. It is horrible. Dude, I had to choose the map with the fucking fire zombies. Yeah, real smart of me. I don't know how I just threaded that needle. I don't know how I just threaded that needle. What is that? Max ammo? Fuck! No! Dude, 15 kills away? No! 15 kills away! Oh my gosh, dude! That's crazy! Oh no! All the close calls we had and then I just couldn't get out of that. I'm low-key disappointed right now. Alright, well, we couldn't get every single kill in the one game using the RPG featuring the, uh, the foul and others but i will finish the rest of the 15 kills here because you are sure as sh you bet your fucking ass i am not redoing that well yeah um thank you all for watching thank you so much for 1000 subscribers you guys are really making my dream come true here of being a big youtuber and shit i won't like get all into all the the super details but yeah thank you all you guys made this happen and there's a kill for every single one of you who subscribed before 1k. Join the Discord, drop me a Q&A question in the comments below. Tell me what you guys want to see in some live streams in the future. And exactly 1,000 kills later, I will see you all in the next one. As always, peace.